Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Morgan from My Little Homeschool in the Woods. So today I'm going to be talking about some big changes that have taken place regarding our homeschool. So stay tuned. Hi guys, so today I'm going to be talking about some changes that are taking place in our homeschool and just kind of update you guys on the stuff that's going on. Um, a lot of things have changed and a lot of things for our upcoming school year is going to look a lot different than videos that I've put out on what we're going to be using for the school year. So yeah, here we go. I know it's been forever since I've done a video. At least it feels like forever. It's not been that long, I guess. But I need to get back on track. I needed a break. Was dealing with some burnout, and we had a lot of stuff going on. So yeah, the break was really nice to have. But anyway, so big changes regarding curriculum. I know everybody's like, "What?" But I've been feeling this draw. Um, for a long time toward Gather Round Homeschool, which if you don't know what Gather Round is, it is like a unit study designed to be done with your whole family, gather around, you know, the parent or the teacher, reading from the teacher's guide, and all the kids have their own individual notebooks on their level to go along with the lesson. Um, so I'll try to leave, leave a link if you want to, you know, if you want to check it out or anything like that. So, but anyway, Ever since its beginning, I have really been drawn to it, but I've always had like this fear of like, what if it's not enough? Or, you know, it couldn't possibly be enough. It's a new curriculum, like they can't have everything figured out like when they first make this curriculum. And all these things was just holding me back from it. And I really felt a draw, like God drawing me to this curriculum ever since its beginning. But I've always been held back by all those doubts and things. But so this year, I really feel like God's wanting me to simplify my homeschool even more. Like with what we were going to do, using the good and the beautiful and all these things, which I'm not against any of it. I've used them for like history and science and all that, and they were great. But with what I was planning on doing, it was not going to be simplifying our homeschool. It was going to be making it more, um, you know, arduous for the kids and more work. And that's not the direction I want for our homeschool. When I really got to thinking about it and it's just, I've got four kids. So everybody, I would be going from one student to the next, to the next, to the next all day. And it takes so much time to do that because everybody needs your attention. I just really felt like this is really going against what we're wanting for our homeschool. So, yeah. So I was like, I don't know. One day I was like, God, I'm going to do this. And that meant, you know, selling stuff that I had already bought and had everything ready. For the upcoming school year, everything was ready. Like, it was like the student had their stuff and, you know, everything was just planned out. Like, yeah. Like, everybody had like a stack of books. And so that meant I needed to sell some stuff. So I started selling The Good and the Beautiful and I kept all our math stuff, of course, because, you know, Gather Round doesn't have math. So I sold a lot of stuff. I bought some units during their convention and we are going to become a gather around family. Yeah. So that is our huge homeschool curriculum change, if you are curious. And I have two students who are going to be doing um, the ready to read, like my youngest, uh, my boys, they're five and seven. Um, my five year old will be doing ready to read one and my seven-year-old will be doing the fourth book. I I kind of feel like he needs a little bit of work on some phonics and stuff, and that's why I went ahead and did that for him. And so, yeah. But we've already started those, and the lessons are pretty short and easy to do, and they seem to really like it. So, so far, here I'll show you. Like, here's Ready to Read 1. I bought these print, 
I usually always buy the digital from them, but on this, I kind of splurged when they did their sale and bought um, the print. This is the fourth one, student book on the Savannah. And they cover math in the Ready to Read, so they'll have some math in there with learning how to read. So that's what they will be doing, and yeah, we I pretty much just went all in. Like, I had everything planned, and everything completely changed. So, yeah, you're probably thinking, like, you are a crazy person. <laughs> I feel like a crazy person, but... Um, I have like this peace about it like I don't have that what if it's not enough like I think God like took that from me after I um, trusted in him to do this because you know that's been like the biggest thing you know with gather round is and when you watch all these YouTube videos about people who tried it and they said oh it didn't work it's not enough I had to buy this and this and this and you watch all that and that just like makes it worse so yeah which every family is different i realize you know you know whatever you're doing if it's working for you doesn't mean i'm telling you to go sell all your stuff and do what we're doing don't do that just do what works for you this is something i'm really trying to simplify our homeschool um it shouldn't take hours and hours a day to teach your child what they need to know and this is just going to be I think it's going to be an amazing year. I really just have that feeling in me that this is going to be amazing. So, anyway, that is our huge change. And, yeah, I kind of hesitated in making this video because I'm like, yeah, people are just going to think I'm a nut. But I made the video, so. Anyway, we did start... Um, our school year, but we're doing it very slowly. Like right now, we're only doing two days a week, um, just kind of easing back into some stuff. Um, we started with um, North America. Um, I kind of picked this one. The kids could not really agree on a unit, so I picked. And so far, it's going great. We were like two weeks in, and yeah. So I'm going to do a video on how I actually make our books, if you're interested in that, if Gather Around is something you use and you're looking for, like, binding ideas or, you know, which I've used binders. Um, last year when we did Human Body, we used binders and it worked fine. There was no, you know, problems with it at all. Like the flex binders that bend, you know, those work really well. But anyway, so... I hope you stick around to see um, what our gather round journey is going to look like this year. And that's what you're going to be seeing on this channel for this school year. It's not going to be the good and the beautiful because that's pretty much what we had planned was the good and the beautiful for almost everything. Um, math and everything, which we might still use some other math because they have the new math out. We might just print off lessons and use some of that. I don't know. But anyway, guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you stick around, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.